The bustling port of Busan is a major asset to South Korea's dynamic economy. But when Australian missionary Joseph Davies arrived here 120 years ago, Busan had another reputation as the wilderness of the gospel. Davies was an accomplished educator and founder of the Caulfield Grammar School in Melbourne, Australia, when he felt called to take the gospel to Korea. Yet tragically, Davies died the day after arriving in Busan, the victim of a deadly disease contracted during his three-week walk to the city. Davies' sacrifice was not in vain. It inspired the arrival of another 126 Australian missionaries. They said, no, this means we must give ourselves even more completely to preach the gospel to the Korean. One of the new missionaries, Pastor Noble Mackenzie, built a medical facility to care for lepers. Mackenzie eventually received a government citation for his humanitarian work. Two of his daughters later founded the Ilsen Christian Hospital in Busan. The lepers at that time had to leave their homes, but after there was Sangai Won and they were able to be treated in the hospital, the patients were so thankful. Another Australian couple, Pastor McRae and his wife, founded kindergartens and elementary schools in three cities of the region. Missionary Gelson Engel pastored two churches and taught full-time at the Pyongyang Seminary. In the 120 years since Joseph Davies walked into Busan, Korea's Christian population has grown to 15 million. And many are hearing for the first time about the Australians, who along with the British and American missionaries, brought them the gospel over a century ago. Stan Jeter, CBN News.